Hey, glad you're back. Welcome back into Red Raider Sports with Mike Leach. Earlier this week, after practice, we asked Coach some of your questions and asked Coach Leach. Coach, first one comes from Mike in Amarillo, Texas. One of the best quarterbacks to ever run the two-minute drill, in my opinion, was Roger Staubach. Do you ever watch some of his old cowboy game films to see if you could add anything to your two-minute offense? Uh, we haven't watched uh, Roger Staubach specifically. I think uh, I, uh, a lot of our coaches all grew up watching Roger Staubach, and uh, we're really impressed with how he played and what he did. Uh, but uh, we borrow from teams all the time, and certainly uh, wouldn't hesitate to borrow from them, but uh, borrow from a variety of teams, and there's a lot of good stuff out there. From Lou in Middletown, New York, as a former rugby player, how have you instituted rugby logic for the Tech football team? Well, in, in, there's not a lot of uh, uh, crossover with uh, rugby and in football other than just uh, the overall working together. I think anytime there's a team sport and, and you have to get a group of people on the same page to work together, I think that uh, there's some correlation. Malcolm in Milford, Texas, would you ever let a six-man football player from a small school play on your team? Uh, I think we have. I can't give you a name, but we've had a number of uh, players from all different parts of uh, Texas play on our team, and uh, I would be surprised if we haven't. Finally, Ann in Austin, Texas wants to know, what are your plans for the offseason? Uh, get better next year, you know. Uh, it'll start out with... Uh, uh, simultaneously we'll uh, recruit uh, and we'll uh, start the off season as far as our players lifting and running and um, and then uh, you know do our deal for two weeks uh, where we have everybody together do agility drills and uh, so there's not uh, you know just uh, really conditioning and improving and then as coaches you go through uh, uh, every play uh, this year you break them down into cut-ups and go through every play and try to figure out ways you can improve At Frontier Dodge, we believe every customer deserves the very best. That's why we're committed to excellence in every area. You'll find warm, friendly people, service beyond compare, a full lineup of fun-to-drive Dodge cars and trucks, all at a price that fits your budget. We know you'll keep coming back because we won't be satisfied until we satisfy you. Frontier Dodge. Spur 327 at Frankfurt. Furniture Row is resolved to make this new year much more comfortable. During Furniture Row's New Year Savings event, you'll rest easier for many years to come. With a special offer of no interest until 2011, plus no payments until 2009, you'll also find special savings in every store, all backed by our 200% guaranteed lowest price pledge. Hurry into Furniture Row and take advantage of the special New Year limited time offer of no interest until 2011, plus no payments until 2009. Kidding. I love my Citibank Reward checking account. It is so nice that I don't have to worry about keeping a minimum balance. No, seriously, I earn a really great interest rate with my Reward checking account. Oh, girl, I don't even write checks anymore. My debit card is easier. Now is the time to make the switch to Citibank. Now at Skog and Dickey, get a new 08 Silverado Crew Cab now with $5,000 off or 2.9% APR. That's $5,000 off or 2.9% APR. Or get a new 08 Tahoe now with $6,000 off. That's $6,000 off. And all Chevys are backed by the best coverage in America. And now get 0% APR for 60 months or 1.9% APR for 72 months on all remaining 2007s in stock. Chevy, an American revolution, only at Skog and Dickey. back with us here on Red Raider Sports with Mike Leach here at the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville, Florida, Texas Tech, taking on UVA. Here's what happened. We pick things up on the 10th play of Tech's second possession, second and four from the 10. Harold at Detron Lewis over the middle and into the end zone for the score, capping a 78-yard drive for the 7-0 lead. Virginia would answer on their next series, tying the game on the two-yard pass by Jamil Sewell to Jonathan Stupar. Cavaliers would rattle off 14 straight points and take a 21-7 halftime advantage on the 23-yard field goal as the second quarter clock expired. 
Opening kickoff of the second half, Corey Fowler with the surprise onside kick, touched by the Cavaliers, and Lance Fuller would fall on it. Even the Red Raiders, the ball at the Tech 41. On the 13th play of the ensuing drive, a first and goal from the sixth, Harrell connects with senior Danny Amendola in the corner of the end zone for the score. On the season, D.A. with 1,245 yards, moving him into eighth place on the school receiving yardage list, 21-14 Virginia. Fourth quarter now, second and 10 for the Cavaliers, 20. Harrell thrown into the end zone to Crabtree, the AT&T All-American Player of the Year, hauling in his record 22nd touchdown of the season. Tech down seven, 28-21 Virginia. On the Cavaliers' next drive, back to throw on second and 13. Sophomore Rajon Henley with the hit to force the fumble, and freshman Colby Whitlock covers it at the UVA four-yard line. The Red Raiders would tie the game from there on the four-yard carry up the middle for the touchdown by freshman Aaron Crawford, 28-all with three to play. Following a Virginia punt, Texas Tech would drive 30 yards. The second and nine pass to Kobe Lewis, good for 10 yards to the Cavalier 23-yard line. From there, with seven seconds left to play, senior Alex Terlica would connect on the 41-yard field goal, the third game winner of his career, as the Red Raiders score 17 points in the final three and a half minutes to get the come from behind win. Graham Harrell named Gator Bowl MVP. 31-28 is your New Year's Day final from Jacksonville. Hi, I'm Reagan Eddins at Eddins Furniture, and I want to invite you to our January clearance sale. <laughs> we are clearing out our extra inventory with huge savings store-wide. Lane recliners are buy one, get one free, as low as $2.99. This queen cherry bedroom is only $7.99, plus get a free queen pillow top mattress set. Microfiber and leather sofas start at $3.99 and $4.99. Get 12 months, no interest, at Eddins Furniture, 19th and Avenue N. It's clearance time at Eddins Furniture. What is the Safety Boot experience? Someone who takes the time to listen to your concerns, actually measure your foot, and assess all the factors. Because at Safety Boot, we understand how your foot works. We've invested in technology to give you a clear picture of what's going on with your feet. And we guarantee you'll end up with the most comfortable shoes you've ever worn. Now that's the Safety Boot experience. The biggest thing for all car dealers, I think, is trust. We'd love an opportunity to help you find your next vehicle, so come by and give us a shot. The 2008 MKZ refined dynamic entry luxury sedan offering a superior value proposition. Give new meaning to the words drive-in theater with the 2008 Lincoln MKX. The 2008 Mercury Sable combines smart features with a sophisticated new design. My name is Gary Warren, and we'd be glad to help you. Pioneer Lincoln Mercury, West Texas Car and SUV Center, South Loop 289 between Slide and Quaker. You'll find the tools you need for any job at Texas Tool and Equipment, the West Texas Power Tools Superstore. Hand tools, power tools, more than 15,000 feet of the most rugged, durable, heavy-duty power performers in the industry. Whether it's for a job around the house or a heavy-duty professional job, Texas Tool and Equipment, Lubbock's original tool discounter, gives you experience selection and the best pricing you'll find anywhere. Texas Tool and Equipment, we sell you the best tools you'll ever own. Fox, the greatest lineup of championship events in television history. The BCS. The NFC Championship. Super Bowl 42. And the 50th running of the Daytona 500. The one network where champions are crowned. So happy that you're back with us here on Red Raider Sports with Mike Leach after the Gator Bowl was finished. Talked about the game with Virginia with the head coach. All right, coach, uh, after the comeback Gator Bowl victory, I guess you, you had it drawn up that way all along, right? Well, I wish uh, I wish we'd played a little better earlier, certainly on offense, but I, I was really proud the way our guys hung in there together and uh, really the mark of a, a lot of character on your team if uh, you can keep believing through frustrating times. and and battle through and find a way to win and so i couldn't be prouder of them uh, for that and then uh, in the case of virginia um, you know virginia had won so many close games this year that uh, you knew they weren't going anywhere uh, no matter what happened in the game and so uh, it was a real tribute uh, to our guys to beat a team like uh, virginia and then especially to hang in there through all the frustration uh, early 
Yeah, you mentioned that frustration. To what can you attribute that? Why were those? Why were we having those problems offensively in the first half? You think? Yeah, I think we were trying to make too much happen, trying to get the big play, and just didn't really settle in there. But uh, uh, spent too much time playing with uh, eight or nine players instead of eleven. But you know, sometimes that stuff happens, and our guys uh, just hung in there and uh, stayed with it. What'd you say at the half? I mean, did you have to do anything differently? Say anything differently? Because you play a little bit different, I, th I think, after the intermission, don't you? Well, I said uh, go out there and play like you did Wednesday's practice. You know, that's the important thing is, you know, uh, do what you practice and just worry about doing your job and do it with a high level of uh, tempo. So uh, play like Wednesday's practice, what I said. Coming into this game, looked like you had a pretty good week worth of, of, of practices over at uh, North Florida. I thought it was, it was pretty good. Some guys seemed a little distracted uh, as the week went on, which I, you know, your excitement level needs to accelerate as you get towards the game. And, I thought we had a good week of preparation. I thought we had some, you know, bad breaks, uh, of which we caused a lot of, and uh, you know, and then had to overcome ourselves a little bit. After the half, you pretty gutsy move calling that onside kick. Was that just what y'all needed? Well, I thought it gave us a spark, and I also uh, thought it gave us a spark, and I thought it was set up pretty good to get it, and uh, and so uh, it was a great play by Fuller or whoever got it, uh, and then of course led to a drive and sort of set the tempo to a point. Uh, that half, and then, uh, you know, then we continued to have problems or create them. But, you know, the biggest thing is stuff doesn't always go your way, and you end up in tough situations. But uh, playing 60 minutes and fighting through it and, and uh, being able to do it as a group, I think, is really, a, 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 you know, a tribute to our players and our coaches. Singling a few guys out, another season, another game by Graham Harrell, which he sets a lot of records. He's the game MVP by the Gator Bowl uh, staff. What did you think uh, about your quarterback's play half to half? Well, I, th I thought he played a lot better the second half than the first half. And I thought that, uh, you know, what he really did well the first half, which is really key to, to being a quarterback, is he led the unit. He got the unit fired up, led the unit, uh, directed the drives, and, uh, you know, uh, was key to our dealing with adversity. As, as things didn't go right, he kept everybody up. Uh, just a great leader out there on the field. Odin Chevrolet, serving the South Plains since 1936, gives you the best reason to come see us today. Big discounts on trucks and SUVs, like an 08 Crew Cab LT Texas Edition for just $28,900 or 1.9% APR for 60 months. Or an 07 Chevy Avalanche, sale priced and more than $7,200 off. And a 2008 Tahoe Z71 4x4, a great deal at just $46,150. Small town service, big time savings. Give us a call today for the best prices on the South Plains at Odin Chevrolet. For over 45 years, Hoagland's has been your locally owned business solution. And we've continued to stay at the forefront of technology. Today, Savin helps you get noticed with vivid color. Hoagland offers a full line of Savin color copiers, giving your documents and graphics power to communicate in full color. Let us help you. Say it with color. Today, Savin color can fit into your budget. That's why we say let Hoagland's do it with, with color. color. Notice how digital's made pretty much everything better, especially television. Digital TV's got better picture, better sound, more channels. In fact, digital's so much better that by law, all broadcast TV has to be digital by 2009. But there's a catch. Some TVs need an upgrade to get digital. You could even lose your signal. Get the facts. Visit DTVAnswers.com to learn about television switch to digital. Or call this number to see how you can stay connected. At First United Bank, our mission has always been the same, to build enduring relationships with our customers and to support the West Texas communities we serve. For over a hundred years, our roots have been planted right here, and our focus for the future is you. With new, innovative products to help you bank smart, with sound financial advice to help you live well, and with friendly personal service to help you enjoy the ride. First United Bank, celebrating 100 years of service to West Texas. You can't be too careful when people are depending on you. Because we all know just about anything can happen. It's good to know someone's there watching out for us. It can make all the difference. Your Farm Bureau insurance agent, auto, home, and life. For all the everyday heroes, just like you.
Hello there, welcome back to Red Raider Sports with Mike Leach. One more time, here's your head coach. Given the way the ball game went that first go, in the first three quarters, did you ever look up at the scoreboard and, and think, oh gosh, it's not that bad, right? Well, I just kept thinking the next play, we we're going to start getting on a roll, and then the next play, we're going to get on a roll. And, uh, you know, uh, some of it because Virginia did a good job keeping us off balance, and some of it, uh, you know, because we'd stumble on our own or drop a ball or something like that. And then, <clears throat> you know, but uh, there at the end, the defense did a great job of getting uh, three and outs when we need to preserve the clock to win in regulation. Special teams did a great job. And, um, and then offensively, uh, we answered with kind of limited time there when uh, it was key. Yeah, let's talk about that defense. They're on the field a lot of the game, and then near there at the end, they keep coming up big. What, evaluate your, your defense's play as a holder there. Well, really, overall, they weren't on the, the, the field ridiculously long as just extended segments the first half, you know, following the safeties or three and outs or something. We had way too many three and outs. And then, because uh, time of possession was pretty equal, we actually had more, uh, more plays than Virginia did. But um, I don't know, I just thought overall we could have been more efficient. And then when you see how our defense played at the tail end, I think that they might have been able to play better early too. But, you know, just that uh, response by Ray John Henley, we almost picked several passes and, uh, and uh, uh, stuffed them for a couple three and outs when we really needed to. And then in the last three and a half minutes, you score 17 unanswered points. Well, I didn't know it was that many that short a period of time, but yeah, it's good. Let's, uh, let's talk about that final kick. We've seen Terlika in that situation before. Set, take us through what happened, how he's setting up. The wind was swirling a little bit. Well, yeah, there was all that. Ryland broke his leg uh, or ankle, it appears. And then, so there was a long delay, you know, which is kind of ice null Terlika. So he starts out by draining the extra point and extends his uh, record further. <clears throat> and then he goes and uh, they call timeout and ice him some more. And then he literally drained uh, the field goal. I'm not sure how far it was, 42 yards maybe. <clears throat> and uh, did that, showed great composure, and then uh, went to kick off after that. So, you know, he was uh, really instrumental there at the end. After the game, Joe Garcia came by and gave him a kiss. What are you going to do for, uh, for your kicker? No, I don't know. I'll let Joe kiss him, I guess. Yeah, Marlon Williams went into, into the kissing thing. Yeah, I'm kind of with Marlon on that a little bit. I appreciate the efforts of Trelika, but we'll let Joe kiss him. Also, they don't get you on the sideline with the Gatorade. Morris and Amendola drop the bucket at midfield trying to get you with the Gatorade, but did they ever get you afterwards? Yeah, inside the locker room, yeah, it was a bad deal. Just uh, when I'd relaxed and didn't think it'd be any problem, uh, Big Jake and uh, Amendola and uh, Morris uh, nailed me with it. So it was, uh, yeah, I was soaking wet there for a while, still shivering some. Uh, <clears throat> but as I was getting ready to take up the team to talk to them, then came, uh, I think, three buckets, honestly. I was glad it wasn't Gatorade, it was water. But How about these seniors? Uh, just talk a little bit about what they've meant to this, this program, this, this year, this game. Well, just great people, great players. They'll be a part of tech tradition forever, and I think we'll, uh, you know, they'll always be a part of us. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's always exciting as you see people uh, you know, have great careers and uh, go on to other great careers. Another great bowl win, Coach. Congratulations. Have a great off season, and we will see you next August. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. At First United Bank, our mission has always been the same, to build enduring relationships with our customers and to support the West Texas communities we serve. For over a hundred years, our roots have been planted right here, and our focus for the future is you. With new, innovative products to help you bank smart, with sound financial advice to help you live well, and with friendly personal service to help you enjoy the ride. First United Bank, celebrating 100 years of service to West Texas. Hey, hey, working man, working man like me Ain't never been on welfare That's one place I won't be No, I'll be working As long as my two hands are fit for you I drink my beer in a tavern Sing a little bit of these working man blues ASCO, your equipment partner you make sure you're the most excited team to get out there on the field. And I want this thing to escalate. 
At Plains Capital Bank, we help you get there. We believe in creating wide open opportunities that give you the freedom to achieve your financial goals. When decisions need to be made, you don't call someone 2,000 miles away. Neither do we. At Plains Capital Bank, there are no barriers between you and the possibilities. No limits to your success. No fences. Glad you're back with us here on Red Raider Sports with Mike Leach, me and Raider Red, hanging out here at the Gator Bowl. 2007, pretty interesting year. Let's take a look at what happened in some of those highlights. Go! Right here, right here! Lock it in, right here! You know how we do it! We work! We win! Let's go! Woo!
know you're going to win this game. You know the only way that it happens is together. And you know that the only way that it happens is by everybody doing their job together. All right, that's going to do it for this show. That's also going to do it for the 2007 season. We really do appreciate you watching this year. If you want more information on the Red Raider football program, really easy. Go to texastech.com. Also, check out the Red Raider replay. It's the best look at Texas Tech football you'll find. You get this show, you get inside the locker room, and so much more. Want some info on that? Call Andrea Starch of the Red Raider Club at 742-1196. Well, that'll do it. We appreciate you watching. We thank the Red Raider sports crew. We thank head coach Mike Leach. I'm Drew Doherty. We will see you next fall. This has been Red Raider Sports with Mike Leach, produced by Texas Tech Athletics.